You hear the crowd. At least a good part of it is in an uproar because they felt that you took shots at him unfairly after you went together in the ring, made up for the headbutt, and then you poked him. Uh, What's your story? Uh, first off, I want to thank God for, for this victory. Because uh, without God, all this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank my team. Um, I got hit with a dirty shot. And um, it's protect yourself at all times. Um, I hit him with a left hook right hand, and that ended the bout. So you're saying that even though it appeared that he didn't, wasn't protecting himself and thought that that was part of the ceremony that you were going through of apology, that you unfairly took advantage of it, what do you say to those who say, What'd you do there? You were winning the fight and in I, charge. I just want to tell everybody that bought pay-per-view, that came out to Las Vegas, thank you. Anyway, it was a hell of a fight. Floyd, you know you're a promoter, but now we're talking to you as a, a prize fighter. Let's take a look at what happened at the end of the fight. Oh, let's look and at you it. describe it. We touch, we touch gloves. We back the fight hook. Right hand. And that's all she wrote. So it, it, for you, it was just an automatic response. Let's get on with the fight. Let's protect yourself at all times. He done something dirty. Uh, we're not here to cry and complain about what he did dirty or what I did dirty. I was victorious. If he want a rematch, he can get a rematch. You were in charge of the fight. You were aggressive and trying and taking advantage of what you, know you saw what I'm, as a You know what I'm going to do? You don't ever give me a fair shake, you know that? So I'm gonna let you talk to Victor Ortiz, all right? I'm through. They put somebody else up and give me an interview. Talk what are you to Victor talking Ortiz. about? What you, are you, you talking about? You heard him. You never give me a fair shake. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know shit about boxing. You ain't shit. You're, you're not shit. I wish I was 50 years younger you and I'd shit. kick your ass. You won't do shit. You won't do nothing. <laughs> 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 you won't do nothing. You won't do nothing. <laughs> all right. We're now here with Victor Ortiz. <laughs> you hear the crowd. You describe what happened at the end of the fight. Was it your fault for not protecting yourself at all times? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Um, I was called a break by the referee. So uh, I did as I obeyed, you know. I obeyed exactly as I was told. And uh, I looked at the ref, and I went like that. And I looked up, and then boom, I was out. So. Uh, you know, it happens. All right. First, let's show earlier in the round when you had him on the ropes. Okay. And you butted him. Was that just some reflex action or? I was going, I was going back. I was going back, and then uh, he pushed me a little bit, so I wish I went back and then I just cocked back. It looked like it looked like I really did it intentionally, but you know, it happens. I even apologized to him. I mean. Uh, I'm very sorry for that. I'm not a dirty fighter. So you're saying you were just trying to jump on him and your head Yeah, he, he, came, he came forward really fast. I, I wasn't expecting that. And my head was in his face, so I was like, oh, whoops. Uh, so like, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But, but why are you, apo oh, you, you, you seem apologetic about um, then you got together with him and what did you each say with each other? I told him, I'm sorry, Floyd. I didn't mean to do that, bro. My bad, man. And. Uh, my bad, let's do this. Where's the ref? That was a couple times. It's okay, though. Do you, do you think that was unfair? Or because you had a plan to get deep into the fight? Or is it your bad? You know, you can look at it two ways. Uh, at the end of the day, you know what? Um, I came out here to, to show the fans, you know, a good time. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I think they did have a good time, except for, you know, the little miscommunication there by the ref. But hey, it, it happens, you know? I'm not perfect, uh, no one is, and neither is the ref. So I have no one to blame for it. Um, it's a learning experience. Thank you very much. Thank you. Victor.